Okay. Hi, buddy. Do you want to sniff it? Can she sniff the camera? Yeah, she can sniff it. Come on, you can sniff the camera. <laughs> So now we are going to move on to creating the mold. The first thing we need to do is to take that old newspaper or magazine and rip it up into strips. Ideally you should be using some other type of fiber for this, like hay, but newspaper will do in a pinch. The purpose of the newspaper is to keep cracks in our plaster to a minimum. You should have at least enough strips ripped up to be able to wrap your clay shape in twice over. Next we'll be mixing our plaster. Make sure you have your plastic mold, your strips, and your clay shape ready before starting this step because plaster tends to dry very quickly. Also be sure to wear gloves, goggles, and maybe even a breathing mask for this. I did not, and I regret it. Take the plaster and measure it out following the instructions in the packaging. Add water or plaster as necessary until the consistency of your plaster is sort of halfway in between mashed potatoes and clam chowder, maybe a thick pancake batter. It should be thick enough to retain shape, but not so thick that it doesn't spread when you pour it. As the plaster reacts with the water, it should dissipate heat. So once you have your plaster, lay down some strips of paper in the plastic container and pour some plaster into your container. Fill your container only about a quarter of an inch up. Now add more strips on top of that, and once again, pour some plaster in. This time, enough to submerge your prop about halfway through. Add more paper strips for strength. And now we wait. Your plaster should not take more than a few hours to dry, and does not need to be completely dry for this next step. It just needs to be solid to the touch. Once this is done, without removing your prop from the plaster, lightly reapply the soap mixture to your prop, just in case. Be sure to reapply the soap mixture to the surface of the plaster, and maybe add in some tape along the edges, just to be safe, so that we have a small gap between the two molds. Now repeat the plaster pouring process for the second half by preparing a new batch of plaster for the mixture. Do not reuse any of the old plaster. That was mistake number three for me. So once you've reapplied it, let it dry for about half a day. At least half a day. I would say a little longer if you don't have quick drying plaster, just to be on the safe side. If your plaster is not completely dry before the end of this next step, you'll ruin your project. So now we are going to remove the gun from the mold. This is usually a pretty easy process. Both halves should snap right off if you have done this right. If you haven't, well... Okay, I was wrong. Once that is done and we have our two halves, we are going to prepare the mold so that we can use it to create our finished prop. Look for any imperfections in your mold. You can fix them by applying a little bit of putty, clay, or basically anything else that will stick to it. Also give it a thick spraying of the liquid enamel to get rid of any micro bubbles that may have been left. After that is done, be sure to reapply the soap mixture to the two halves of the mold. Now that the mold is ready, we are going to fill it with the material our final prop is made out of. For my prop, I'll be using Loctite foam for gaps and cracks. 